Hey guys, this is Upesh from Beboom.com and Android 11 is here. Well, sort of. I mean, this is the first developer preview of Android 11. And while it's a very early release, we have it installed on our Pixel 4. So let's talk about the most exciting features of Android 11. And yeah, do note that I'll be talking about a lot of other minor changes at the end of this video. So make sure to watch till the very end. Now let's talk Android 11. Every Android update brings changes to the notification shade and the settings page. And while there's no change on the settings page front, hey, there are changes on the notification shade front. So let's check it out. So first up, there's a dedicated conversation section. So when you get a text or an email, these notifications will be grouped under this conversations section in the notification shade. And I think it'll look more refined. Another feature in the notification shade that I like is the ability to paste images in replies in the notification shade. Now I couldn't get it to work on the Pixel 4, but it sounds interesting. Bubbles, the Facebook chat has like feature that we came across in an early Android 10 beta is again here on Android 11. So like I said, this is a lot like Facebook Messenger chat heads. So basically with Bubbles, you will be able to get chat head support in apps like Google Messages or basically any other messaging app that chooses to support this. Right now, you can just go to an app's notification settings and enable the Bubbles option. After which the app's notification will show up in a chat head like this. Obviously, Bubble support is available in the Google Messages app. And as you can see, I can just use this Bubble to text Akshay. Anyway, I'm hoping apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and third-party SMS apps support this feature when Android 11 rolls out later this year. Android 10 brought more control when it comes to location permissions and Android 11 is making things more stricter. So when an app prompts for the location permission in Android 11, you get these three options. Only this time, while using the app and deny. Yeah, there's no allow all the time option. Apparently apps that need access to location in the background will have to get Google's approval to get on the Play Store. Anyway, not just the location permission, there's more control when it comes to other permissions too. With Android 11, you will be able to give apps temporary permission to your camera and microphone, which I think is the right way forward. Also, Android 11 will block apps from repeatedly asking the same permissions again and again if you deny it twice or more. Yeah, that's super handy. Android Q Beta last year had a pretty early version of a screen recorder, but it was scrapped with the final Android 10 release. Now, Android 11's preview brings a new screen recorder and well, this seems to be the real deal. So there's a toggle to enable screen recorder in the quick settings page. And once you tap it, you get this prompt asking you if you want to start recording. Well, I can press start now and after three seconds, it will start recording the screen. As you can see, when the screen recorder is running, there's this Chromecast like icon on the status bar and there's a notification that lets you stop, pause or cancel the screen record. There's no option to record internal audio or show taps or anything basically, but I think we'll see that in a future release. Do Not Disturb is also getting improved with Android 11. Now the Android 11 preview brings a new reorganized DND page. So here's the DND page in Android 11 next to the DND page in Android 10. Now the key change here is how exceptions are categorized. Unlike Android 10, Android 11 divides exceptions into people, apps, and alerts and other interruptions. Now, all of these different options have more sub options. So in people, you can allow calls from anyone to just start contacts. You can add apps to exceptions in DND, and you can enable alarms, reminders, and other sounds under other interruptions. Well, all in all, this new organized DND page does seem more clean and nice. We have been waiting for this. Every single Android skin has this. And well, it's finally here, auto dark mode. Yes, Android 11 finally lets you schedule the dark mode. As you can see in the Android 11's dark theme settings, you can now schedule the dark mode to automatically turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. There's even the option to set custom timings for this. So yeah, you no longer need a third party app to schedule dark mode on stock Android. Now, apart from these Android 11 features, there are a lot of other minor changes here and there. The option to pin apps to the top in the share sheet is back again, thankfully. Android 11 also mute notifications when you're recording a video, which I think is a great addition. And there's an option in the developer options page to show the screen refresh rate all the time. Yeah, turning it on shows the refresh rate of the Pixel 4, which fluctuates between 60 and 90. And as you can see, there are color changes as well. 
I know it's kind of like fraps, but it's screen refresh rate and not exactly frame rate. There's also a new notification history page now, which is separate from the notification log. And I think this will come in pretty handy. You can access it through the activity launcher right now, but I hope it makes it to the stable release. Moving on, the folks at XD have also found trace that scrolling screenshots are finally coming to Android 11. And the fact that Android 11 will implement the music player in quick settings like iOS's control center. Apart from that, there's project mainline support so that parts of Android can be updated individually, better support for curved and waterfall displays, displays with punch holes and foldables, and a lot of other under the hood changes for better 5G support and some Pixel 4 exclusive features. Well, as of now, Android 11 does not bring any major visual change, but we'll see how it goes as more betas arrive. Anyway, if you want to know every single feature that Android 11 brings, and if you want to know how to install the Android 11 update on a Pixel device, check out our articles from the links in the description down below. Also, tell us how you like this video, comment down below. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.